All right, so we can go on the journey with 16 standing ladies. Okay, okay. We understand you're excited. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Anita, we are yeah, for trouble today. The energy. All right. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, guys. We need to start. We understand you're excited yes, to see your favorite, please. but of course, we need to start the show. And like I was saying, we began with 16 stunning ladies vying for the prestigious title of Ghana's most beautiful and incredible prizes that came with it. What a journey. All the laughter, teachable moments, disappointments. And now this is the moment we've been waiting for. Who advances to the finals and who is eliminated tonight? Welcome to Ghana's most beautiful, undoubtedly the best and most educational reality show in Ghana. Of course. Welcome everyone. A round of applause for yourselves one more time. And those of you watching around the world, our studio audience, and of course you. Now this is a watershed moment for some of our ladies because tonight will be their final appearance here on the show. Now, can you guess who is making it to the final five? <laughs> who is making it to the final five? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, calm down. Thank you. Now, in the last week, okay, calm down. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, Aiko. <laughs> Last week, we saw Aiko win Best Performer and Most Eloquent for the night for the second time running this season. A round of applause for Aiko. <laughs> and then Asiedu also won Best Costume for the night. And both of them picked up prices from our sponsors. Now tonight, the ladies would have to justify their inclusion to the top five. Who's making it to top five? Yeah. Anita. Okay, okay. I, I hope all the shouting translates into votes, but tonight's show is in two parts. And I would like you all to pay attention to this. The ladies will first share their thoughts on issues concerning the Ghanaian tourism sector, particularly in their respective regions, in one minute. And after that, the judges will ask questions. For the second part, the ladies will justify their inclusion on the show and persuade you and also the judges of their rightful place in the top five. I'm already nervous, honestly. I'm curious about how the night will go. And I think my judges are feeling the same way. Before I go to them, Let's take a look at this. Welcoming our special guest judge on the show. With an incredible strong CV with over 20 years in the diplomatic sector, she has held great positions like Chief Protocol Officer for President Cyril Ramaphosa, Chief Protocol Officer for former President Jacob Zuma, and worked with both President Mbeki and Nelson Mandela. Her Excellency Grace Jeanette Mason is best described as a woman with great personality, currently the High Commissioner of the Republic of South Africa to Ghana. Her Excellency Mason is intentional about using her time in Ghana to impact and empower people, particularly women, promote youth and culture. She is passionate about women's empowerment, helping African women and others to create wealth. And I have experienced her firsthand, one on one, and she's simply phenomenal. One more time for our guest judge, Grace Jeanette Mason, South Africa's High Commissioner to Ghana. Her Excellency, you have joined us at a very crucial, crucial time. It's the final eviction night. How do you feel, and what are you expecting tonight? Um. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, good evening to everybody. In South Africa, we say, Molweni. And how do we respond? <laughs> <laughs> and it is an honor for me, and I'm humbled just to be here and to look at the beautiful young girls, the contributions that they would make, 
and of course in just for them to express themselves, express, show our diversity, our culture, what makes us true Africans. Thank you. Yes, a round of applause for her. And to our original two. Everyone say original two. <laughs> Jibadi and of course, Janet. Good to see you one more time. You look gorgeous. I'll start with you, Janet. What are we expecting tonight? It's super crucial. <laughs> I have had sleepless night. You but have slept. Um, is my mic stable now? Okay, before I start, I want to say shout out to my anomable fishmongers. I was there last week and they were phenomenal. So what am I expecting today? I'm happy to have all the seven on stage today so that they can hear me direct and clear. Cookie, Anita, you have been great examples of the yin and the yang balance. Today, what I'm looking for is spontaneity because you are going to be Ghana's beauty and Africa's pride, which means that irrespective of where you find yourself, you have to be spontaneous. That's number one. Number two, I am looking for mental stimulation, balanced with your emotional connection and elegance, because you're supposed to reflect Ghana's beauty in and out. I've already said it, this season is about unconventional beauty. It's not the beauty that hits you. It's the beauty that stimulates you intellectually and connects with you emotionally. So bring it on. I wish you the very, very best. Go and shine. Today is your night to shine. Go and shine. A round of applause for Janet Sumpo Mills. And the Gigi will wrap it up for us on your expectations. I don't even know what to say, honestly, because I'm just emotional for them. I'm emotional because I'm happy that they've all made tonight. And I think that's what matters. They've all made tonight. And ladies, that's all I'm going to tell you. I think I say to you, every single time. You already have what it takes, no matter what happens tonight. But we are going to be the ones to tell you the truth tonight. The past 11 weeks have gone. You've done your best. But tonight, you have to justify your inclusion. Be the light that you want the world to see. And that sums it up for the night. Please, a round of applause for our judges. Thank you so much for the phenomenal job you have done. Anita. Justify your inclusion yeah. indeed. Yeah. You're welcome once again, Her Excellency. And like always, you, the audience, you have 60% of voting rights. And judges have 40%. So you need to keep voting for your favorite massively. You also need to justify your inclusion by voting for your favorite contestant. To save your favorite, keep voting by dialing the short code star 713, star 13 hash. Alternatively, download the TV3 Reality app from Google Play or Apple stores and follow the instructions. We meet our ladies proper after this break. Do stay. Um, this is GMB 2022, and tonight is dubbed Justify Your Inclusion. And so whatever the ladies put up tonight will justify if they will be making it to the grand finale. And tonight's in two parts. They will be coming first uh, in groups to answer questions based on tourism in their various regions. And so coming up first in our very first group, we have Haria from the Savannah region, Na Ahima from the Greater Accra region, and Honam from the Volta region. All right, Haria, over to you. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening, everyone. 
my understanding towards tourism is when people move from their various homes to visit beautiful sceneries aside, scenery attra sceneries attraction, and then for relaxation purpose. And my region happens to be the largest region in Ghana, and it has beautiful tourist sites like the Larabanga Mocks, Mole National Park, and it's well protected in my region. So each and everyone who wants to visit a nice and relaxed place, you can visit my region. Thank you. Thank you so much, Haria. Na Ahima, you have the floor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tourism is a commercial organization and operation for holidays and places of interest to visit. Greater Accra Region is the capital city of Ghana. Greater Accra Region is the gateway to Ghana, where all international flights come through the Kotoka International Airport. This makes Greater Accra Region the first center of attraction. We have so many beautiful monuments in Greater Accra Region, such as Kwame Nkrumah Museum, Osha Fort, Osu Castle, Independence Square, where we hosted Global Citizen Festival yesterday. We have so many beautiful beaches you can have for realization and a national food, which is Gankinke. Greater Accra Region has the best tourist sites. We have the first class road which leads to tourist sites. A lot of work must be done. Now, Hima, your one minute is up. Honam, you have the floor now. Thank you so much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tourism is basically the visit of people to places of interest for recreational and also for business purposes. The Volta region, I believe, and there is no doubt that it is the tourism hub of Ghana. And for every place that you want to relax yourself and witness beautiful scenery and encounter beautiful people, I will entreat you to come to the Volta region. We boast of the tallest mountain in Ghana, that is Mountain Afaja. We also have the waterfalls, which is the tallest waterfall in Africa. How about you visit our Tafia Tome Monkey Sanctuary? Well, there are a lot more when it comes to tourist sites in the Volta region. When you are interested in cultural tourism, I will entreat you to visit us during our festival celebration, such as the Hukba Chocho Festival and Desa Festival, which is celebrated by we the people of Juje. I tell you that in the Volta region, you don't only visit us, you experience us. Thank you. Thank you, Honam. At this point, I'll hand it all over to the judges to ask the ladies questions. And the judges will be asking two questions. And ladies, all the questions are directed to all of you. And so when the question drops, it is for all of you. Judges, over to you. Hello, ladies. You're looking beautiful. And before you answer my question, I really want you to boost up your confidence because you've started on a low platter. I'm not feeling your confidence at all. Your voice is weak. Your demeanor is a little bit defeatist. So please lift it up before you answer my question, okay? So the question is, what in your view are the main obstacles facing tourism development in your region and what solutions do you propose? Did you get the question? Yes, yes please. please. Thank you. Thank you so much for the question. Some of these problems we are facing in my region is poor network, poor road network. Most of the tourists find it difficult to visit our tourist site because of our bad inner roads. So they don't even find interest in moving to our various tourist sites because our people don't make our roads so comfortable for them to drive through. And it doesn't even... It doesn't even... Um, it doesn't even attract them for them to visit and revisit the tourist site. Thank you. Okay, now Ahima, you can go. So we have um, low publicity, very little knowledge about the tourist site and historical background in my region. And I believe government agencies, stakeholders and the media must invest their time and resources to educate and inform through advertisements for people to know what we have as a, as a country so that we can sell Ghana and revenue will be generated through local and foreign. 
Esther. Thank you. Honam, you have the final one. I believe that every sector definitely has its own obstacles. And the COVID-19 pandemic compounded the obstacles faced in tourism development in the Volta region. First off, I'll talk about the poor infrastructure base to the tourist sites. The roads are bad, and sometimes the infrastructure at the specific tourist sites are not in good shape. So I will definitely urge them to construct roads that need to be constructed and also renovate the tourist sites when there is a need to be. Also, for tourism, I also believe it's more or less like a business as well. That needs investors. We have... Thank you. Honam. Your one minute was up. Now, which of our judges has taken the next one? Jigodi? Yes. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to make the second one a little bit more interesting for you to answer. What I'm feeling is that you're letting the nerves take over. The two things we will want to find out from this question is the clarity of the message the clarity you are going to give in your message and the creativity of your response. So it's just a simple question. Try hard. Why should a first time tourist to Ghana visit your region? Remember the two C's I just said. Thank you so much. As aforementioned, the Volta region is a place filled with beautiful scenery and beautiful people. I recount working at a COVID testing center where we test people going out of the country. When they ask me where I'm coming from and I tell them the Volta region, they say, wow, the Volta region is filled with beautiful people. And I believe the first reason why any new tourist should visit the Volta region is because of we, the beautiful people. We know our culture and know what our tourist site stands for for us. When it comes to our tourist site, they have histories which I believe every new tourist needs to know about. And when you go to some of our tourist sites, there are accommodation as well, where you can have to rest your head for as long as you like to stay at these tourist sites. And there is no limitation. I always say, you need to come and experience us. Thank you. Thank you, Hona. Na Ahima. Thank you very much. So Great Aqua Region is the capital city of Ghana. We are hospitable people and we, are, we host the seat of government. Greater Accra region has come boast of eight national food, which is the Gan Kinki. When you come to my region, I can take you around to visit national monuments such as Dr. Kwame Nkrumah Museum, Independence Squares, and many more. You would also have to relax at the beaches we have, La Pleasure Beach, Nesdor Beach, and many more. You will now relax yourself and enjoy yourself with our amazing and authentic music, which will keep you glued to Ghana, and you will stay longer than you plan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nahima and Haria. Your take on this question. Thank you so much for the question. I would love a first-time tourist to visit my region because all aspects of tourism is located in my region. When you talk about eco-tourism, we can talk about our national, our Mule National Park, which is recorded as the first and largest tourist site in my region. We can also boast of our historical tourist sites like the Larabanga Mosque. The, Bolga, the, sorry, we can also boast of our Larabanga Mosque, the slave market, and many more. We can also talk of our culture. Our culture tourists at the Damba Festival, which is performed yearly to make you feel relaxed and release stress. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. Judges, what are your comments on uh, the ladies' yeah, performance um, with this first round? I'll start with Her Excellency. There. I would just like to say that the responses have been very eloquent, in depth. Um, I would also like to see a bit more confidence in terms of the responses, that you do know your regions and that you represent as ambassadors for your regions. You become ambassadors for your regions that will sell your region to the world. Um, so for me, a bit more confidence 
um, as you begin to eloquently display your regions respectively and also um, you are able to highlight all the regions, your uh, respective regions. You spoke about tourism, the sector, um, also the impact that COVID-19 has had on the sector, and especially the tourism sector has been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. So those um, are highlights that the opportunities are there. Okay, thank you so much, Her Excellency. I'll move to Jigbodi. Okay, so in this first round, um, I'm having a, a little bit of a hard time to understand the clarity of your message. I'm being very honest. Um, so I, I want to see more clarity. I said go out and be a light. When you are going to go out and be, be a light, you have to be able to be clear. You have to be able to put in some creativity by letting us see. And then you have to give your content weight, okay? So you did, let, I would say that what you could have done better was the fact that let your message come across without showing as much nerves as you showed. So much nerves are showing, and I talked to you about that a lot. So I wasn't happy with the first part because I feel like we could have moved a little further when it came to the clarity of your message. So in the second half of this, I want to see more. So let me give you more feedback. Haria, work on your nerves, okay? That's stopping you from being the bubbly, you know, self that you show. Work on your nerves. Your words were not coming out. They were not fluent. Now, you were all over the place. Honam, you did well in terms of your communication, and that came across. And then with the obstacles, I must applaud you for how you responded to that. So for my individual responses, that is what I'll say. Nahima, frame, just get organized. Okay, okay you have another opportunity. Get organized. Haria, you are, you are not being clear. Honam, just raise the ante to be better. That is what I'll say. Thank you, Jibodi. Janet, what are your thoughts on the first group? Um, I echo what Jigodi said, but I'm definitely going to give you my perspective as well. So my perspective is that you haven't researched well at all. Do you know why I said that? Because I'm a marketer by profession. And for me to take my money to go to another country, it means that that country must be giving me something, an experience that another country will not give me. So if I want cultural tourism, According to Honam, I should come to the Volta region. Is it better than another country that offers cultural tourism? That was not clear. Maybe I'd like to see the tallest mountain. Is that what you said? Okay, so maybe that is unique. If I come to Greater Accra, well, I mean, so it's a capital city of, every, every country has its capital city. Why should I come to the capital city? You talk about beaches, they are better beaches in the world compared to Ghana. So there is nothing unique to draw me to your region. Do you get what I'm saying? If I come to yours, Haria, like I have said, huh? and I've said it time and time again, when I ask you, Haria, what is your identity? You always say, <laughs> and I keep telling you, this competition is not about, <laughs> it's about time you started realizing that you if you win, you're going to be Ghana's beauty, Africa's pride. Do you understand the word pride? So please, in the second round, ladies, we've been with you for 11 weeks. Some of us have mentored you. You have no right to be nervous. You have no right not to believe in yourselves. So second round, I want you to trust who you are right in your heart come and deliver stellar performances. Thank Are we good? Thank you so much, judges. And tonight we're putting the ladies on the spot. We want to test how well 
they can think on their feet. And for clarity's sake, the ladies have no idea the questions that the judges are going to ask. We give them a broad topic, which is tourism. And so whatever you research, if the judges ask and it wasn't part, then you will find yourself wanting. This is GMB 2022. This is the Justify Your Inclusion episode right here on TV3. Remember, if you want to join the conversation on social media, it is hashtag GMB 2022. We're taking a quick commercial break. When we come back, there's more right here. Let's go. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. SMWARA, move on to you. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Welcome back from the break tonight. The contestants just have one assignment. Justify your inclusion. Tell us, the audience and the judges, why you should qualify to the grand finale of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2022. Well, the beginning was a little rough, but let's see if the next four ladies can bring their A game on in this second round. So ladies and gentlemen, we saw three ladies. We've got four to go. So in this formation, let me invite from the central region, Esiedua. Esiedua, take the very first podium. This is the succession we are working with tonight. Amwani from the eastern region. Please take the podium. And then Aiko from OT. And then our finalist, Teya from the northern region in this succession. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Esiedua, Amweni, Aiko, and Teya all vying for the final five heading for the grand finale of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2022. All right, studio audience, studio audience. Studio audience, please calm down so we can move on. All right, ladies, so you're all set in this round. You've got one minute to tell us what you know about tourism, after which the judges will take turns in asking you questions. But here are the rules of engagement for the question session. This is what happens. After the question is asked, if you want to answer first, you please switch on the lights. So please press the bell on your desk. Your light comes up, you answer. Once you're done, you press it back on. It goes off so the next contestant can also press the button. The light comes up and they can answer. Ladies, are we okay? Do we understand the rules of engagement? Fantastic. All right. So, all right, studio audience, studio audience. All right. So if you are ready, Esiedua from the central region, tell us what you know about tourism. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tourism in Ghana contributes a huge quota to Ghana's development. Well, we had a decline during the pandemic, but that notwithstanding, we came back stronger. The central region, which had the first capital of Ghana, cannot be left out. We have been blessed to have the first elementary school in Ghana. We have also been blessed to have the first military cemetery in Ghana. We have been blessed too with historical bits of appreciative things. I will take you on a trip to the Cape Coast Castle. Then we will go to the Elmina Castle. Then I'll take you to the St. Mansu Slave Yard, where our forefathers' remains were being brought. Well, we celebrate about 32 festivals, which notable amongst them is the Ogwafe to Afeshe, which is backed by an Orange Friday Carnival, which is currently the second largest carnival in the whole of West Africa. You can never talk about tourism without mentioning Pan-Africanism. And central region uh, Sierra from the central region there telling us what she knows about tourism. And I'll move on to Amweni um, from the eastern region. Welcome to the land of dramatic landscape and historic relics. The region in Ghana where the ancient atmosphere blends effortlessly with the 21st century. Koforidua is our capital city, and over here, we speak Chi, Guan, and Krobo. Let me serve you some water and take you to the birthplace of Ghana's cocoa industry by Tatekwashi, located at Ekwiapen Mampo. 
Let us take a break away from the stress of the city and go to the Ebri Botanical Gardens, which contains a spectacular array of tropical flora that attracts a score of special birds and butterflies. Waterfalls. If you find yourself in Ghana between April and October, then the eastern region is the best place for you because we serve you with our festivals like the paragliding on the Kwewu Mountain, Ohum, Odra, and Klovo. I know that after a day of fan food activities, you'll be hungry. <laughs> Fufu made from cassava and plantain. Mekwang made from our palm fruit. If ever you are tired, remember that we have so many tourist attractions like the Lake Volta, Akosombo Dam, and many more. Indeed, we are at the center of natural resources in Ghana. Gold, diamond, and bonsai. I'm Winnie Thank from you. the Eastern Region. With that presentation on what she knows about tourism, we would move to OT Region's finest, Aiko. Thank you very much, Cookie, and thank you, everybody. I believe that tourism is great, a great contributor to Ghana's GDP. Welcome to the OT region of Ghana. When you come here, the OT region is described as a microcosm, which means that almost all natural resources that can be found across the country can be found in OT region. Is it water you want? We have the longest river in Ghana, the River OT, our namesake beautiful mountain scenery. We have the Breast Mountain in Chilinga, which literally looks like two peaks of a woman's bosom. We also have the second tallest mountain in Ghana, Mount Jabobo, which is found in the Chabobo National Park, the only transfrontier national park in Ghana that shares a border with a national park in Togo. Now, the, as Ghana's youngest region, the OT region has great potential to develop our tourism industry. And I would like to welcome you and invite all investors who want to develop the OT regional tourism sector with us. Thank you very much. I come from the OT region with her perspective on what she thinks tourism is. And Taya from the Northern region will finalize the session for us. Taya. Tourism a social, cultural, and economic phenomenon where people travel outside of their comfort zones or environments to countries or places, either for information, businesses, relaxation, or recreational purposes. It's a tool that I believe that when countries take personally or when countries take very importantly, they can move their situations from better to best. Countries like Singapore, Maldives and the United Arab Emirates have proven this point. And even in our own country, it is very visible because in the year 2019, we had the tourism industry contributed 3.8 billion US dollars in our gross domestic products as against 2020, 1.7 billion dollars. And this was because the tourism industry promoted our industry, the tourism industry in our country. And so I believe that if we take it importantly, we can move our country from better to best. And I will invite you all to come to the Northern region. Why? Because it is just an hour away flight. Taya from the Northern Region wrapping it all up for us in this session. Ladies, thank you very much. I'm going to move to the judges for the next set of two questions. But ladies, remember, if you want to answer, please press the button on your podium. Your light comes on and then you can answer. Once you're done, turn it off so the next contestants can also light us up to answer the very question. Judges, if you're ready, let's have the questions for the ladies. I should ask. I Ladies, how can tourism be made more attractive for the economic benefit of your region? Who goes first? Thank you very much. I believe that tourism can be made very attractive when we are able to maintain our tourist site. With an example being the Kakum National Park, where people go to and they are on the canopy walk. And all I hear is people shout, ah, I'm going to fall. Meanwhile, they don't fall. How would people feel when all of these places are not being maintained? The canopy, work, the canopy walk should be maintained. Ropes that tie the canopy should be hardened so that people come and they will be happy. I would also talk about our roads. We have very poor roads leading to these tourist sites. This makes people 
who want to come to the central region find it very difficult. Also, commercial drivers end up overpricing. At the end of the day, we loosen both sides. I believe that we also should create more events around these tourist sites. So like the Cape Coast Castle, it is not just for sightseeing. We should have our cultural troops because tourism is also backed by art and culture. So people will come and dance and make merry. Thank you. And that was a Siedua from the Central Region. A round of applause for her. And I see that Taya's light is also up. I believe that tourism can be improved in my region. First of all, if governments liaise with the indigents to identify the tourist sites that exist in my region, we can all attestify to the fact that ever since the savannah and the northeast regions were created out of the northern region, it seems as though we do not have tourist sites at all. But that is not true. We have a lot of tourist sites that you would love to visit. The likes of the German Sep Cemetery, which is located in Yendi, the local capital of the northern region. You would love to visit these sites. I also believe that the world is moving away from ecotourism to modern tourism. Have you ever wondered why people travel to the United Arab Na Nations? Is it because of the ecotourism? It is just for relaxation and to be taken care of. And we at the northern region have vast lands for investors to come and invest in our tourism industry. I also believe that when aviation tourism industries set up educational structures in our region, it will encourage us to learn more about tourism, which will give us means to promote better our tourism in the northern region. So tonight, I'm not just telling you that we have the Sakuli slave site in Savulugu. Taya from the northern region taking your turn in answering that question. Who answers next? Aiko, your light is on. Thank you very much, Cookie, and thank you, Honorable Grace Mason, for the question. Now, I'd like to begin by saying, again, that the Uti region is a microcosm, and the economic benefit of our tourist sites can be greatly improved, because currently we are Ghana's youngest region, and unfortunately, more focus is being put on the development of our administrative structures, rather than the development of our tourist sites that are already in existence. We have several ethnic groups across our region, and all these ethnic groups have places of importance in our various towns that can be greatly promoted and help promote the diverse culture of Ghana. Ghana is not just made up of a few tribes. We have several Guans living in the OT region, and our tourist sites need to be recognized globally. Now, the OT region has the potential to do this, but most tourists, most people, the locals do not have the motivation to exhibit our tourist sites because there's no economic funding to, to them. And so I would recommend that we have a global strategy and a national strategy to implement these tourist sites such that our local indigents can have the mm. opportunity. Thank you very much, Aiko. Amweni will wrap it up for us this evening. Thank you very much. My region is known for its forest and cascading waterfalls. If you need a place to relax, it is definitely the eastern region. But most of the tourist sites in the eastern region are not renovated. They are old and dilapidated. If we renovate these spaces, people will pay money to come and visit. Aside renovation, I also believe that we should conceptualize our tourist, our tourist um, industry into theatrical elements. We should bring it into the theater where people pay to watch because people love to see things. What's the panel on? If I see a beautiful movie, if there is a movie that is on the history of a place like the Tini Waterfalls, where history has it that our ancestors did not have water, their search for water led them to the waterfall, and so they settled at the foot of the waterfall. If there is a thing like this at the theater, people will pay money to come and watch, which will contribute immensely to the development of the nation. Auntie Janet, when we came to your office the last time, I saw an artifact you got from Mexico. If we can create artifacts like this and sell at our tourist sites, people will pay money to get them in their homes. This is what we need to improve the economic development of, the, of my region. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Esiedua, Amweni, Aiko, and Seya. Okay, so here's where I go to the judges, and judges, I would call your names out humbly, and then you comment on one contestant at a time. Jeanette, would you love to comment on a CRS performance tonight? 
You make me proud to be a judge tonight, the four of you. Because it proves that over the 11 weeks we haven't wasted our time. And you are sounding so confident and so eloquent and so poised tonight. And kudos for doing that. That is the standard. This, this is the standard of Ghana's most beautiful. And to be honest with you, you can represent Ghana on any platform, all four of you. Now, to Asiedua. So my comment is to Asiedua. Asiedua, well done. So well done. Because if I was an investor, I would definitely come and invest my money in your region. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I will now move on to Her Excellency to comment on Amwini's performance. Amwini, your performance tonight the confidence that you exude makes anyone wants to come to the Eastern region. You speak about language, the natural resources. You also understand the importance of combining tourism with investment opportunities that investors can come and experience and also look at the opportunities of the natural resources that are in the Eastern region. Um, and that for me, uh, it just shows the depth of content that you had. And for me, I say beauty with a purpose and also language, uh, Pacho, thank you. All right. So everybody, I will come to you for your comments on Aiko's performance. Asiedua always tells us we don't smile. So to you all, all four of you, I want to just say what Janet said. You've made us proud. You've made us see that the efforts we've made have not been in vain. So all four of you have done excellent. Aiko, I said it last week and I'll say it again. You are a class act. Please, please, please. I beg you, please let me land. So I always look at things through the eyes of four C's. Clarity, competence, comprehension of the subject. That means you took time to study it and your connection. And on all the four C's, I'll give you an A. All right. <clears throat> it's an A for Aiko. Her Excellency, I'll come back to you for Taya's performance. Yes, Taya's performance, the Northern region, you understand the social and cultural phenomena that you spoke about, your depth as well, understanding and the knowledge that tourism does contribute to the DGP of Ghana as well, and just the tourist sites and the opportunities as well, and also the confidence that you bring and the knowledge um, of your region. Well done. Well done to you, Taya. Now, judges, anybody has anything to say about the, uh, about the other ladies? Anyone? Anyone uh, wants to say anything? Jeanette, okay. Um, to um, I call. I like the fact that you mentioned that your region was the baby. Indeed, you're the baby of the competition in terms of age. But the potential is undoubtedly so clear and so unique that if I was a tourist looking for unique experiences, 
OT region will be the first region I will come to. And um, for Taya, for Taya, I, ha I have a point for Taya. You did very well in the second part answering to the question, but I think you, s you wasted the first part because you spent so much time explaining to everybody what tourism is. We all know what tourism is. So I think you wasted the first part of the opportunity you had, but you recovered in the second part. So well done. So just quick one, quick ones um, for each of them. I like the, re the work you did, Asidwa, so keep it up in the next uh, round. Ami Amweni, for you, you are standing on the world stage. So every time, just remember, every time you speak a local language, please interpret it for others to hear. There was a lot of local insertions, but for example, an example is tonight where we have Her Excellency. It will be good for you to interpret because she will not understand. And remember that Ghana's most beautiful is Africa's pride to the world. So you need to be able to speak it, but make sure you interpret it as well. So that's just my thing to you. And then to Taya, I want to echo um, what Janet said, but I wanted to say that when you talk about information, make sure that you sell your region. So make sure that whenever you get an opportunity, sell your region, sell the various parts of your region. You were good economically, you were good um, in the definition, you were good in the information, but I want to hear more about the Northern region. So those are my comments. Okay. Her Excellency, you've got final words or I can go to Janet. Janet, you've got something to say? I wanted to say to Amwini, uh, thank you for listening to us last week because tonight you were so poised and so composed and elegant because hitherto it was the loud Amwini that we, we knew and I wanted you to balance it with elegance and poise and today you did that so I want to give you kudos for that. Please give it up for the judges and for the ladies as well. Esiedua, Amweni, Aiko, and Taya, give it up for them for this round. Congratulations to you, ladies. Now, there are a few dignitaries who have come in here to support their own, and I want to acknowledge the entourage that came to support Esiedua. Nanajman Abiyam Danso is in the house this evening. A round of applause for him. <laughs> Prophetess Grace Owusu Afenyi, uh, that's the mother of Esiedua. Thank you so much for coming. Reverend Imam Obeng Abuwa, Sariki Tijani, Raymond Ramison, and Nana Ajiman, you're all very welcome to support Esiedua. And Taya also has an entourage in the house. Abubakar Yaya is here. Abdul Rahman Saibu Alassan Ibrahim, Kamil Bamampong, and then the last person, Nihad, is also here to support Taya. A round of applause for all of them. For those of us on social media, the hashtag is GMB 2020 to keep the conversation coming. In the second round, we'll get to read some of the comments that are coming in already, especially on Twitter. It's the final eviction night. I hope that you're voting. When we come back, there'll be round two. Welcome back to GMB 2022. The next part of tonight's show is dubbed Justify Your Inclusion. The ladies will have to tell us, and also the judges, why they deserve a spot in the grand finale, we are taking only five ladies, and so they have to tell us why they have to hop on that bus to the grand finale. And for this session, we're starting with OT Regions Ico. Ago Ghana man, now what we me the inchade brem we fear can't fire OT man them. Me mama ni na majo. Her Excellency Mrs. Matilda Emisa Arthur, the Gemstones Pretty Officials Consult the Schools of Veterinary Medicine in the University of Ghana and the Kwame Nkrumah University for Science and Technology. ICO United, we've come this far on this journey. You've seen me perform, but have you seen me? On this episode, you will get to know who ICO Adade is, what she stands for, and why she's an essential asset to the GMB finale. Tonight, I am justifying my inclusion. To keep voting ICO, kindly follow the prompts displayed on your screens. Alepe, Abakaba, Kababunta. Always remember to tell a friend that the glory of the Uti is here. Medafase, Milobara. Ghana's beauty, Africa's pride. 
The GMB stage has taught me that the beauty of an African woman lies not just in her face, but in the impact she's able to make in her society. I have been embodying compassion and empathy ever since childhood. At 12 years old, I visited Walewale Wale in the Northeast region on a church rural outreach. At 15 years old, I was in a boom in the Eastern region, helping them complete the construction of their school block. At this same age, I was a judge, a Yale Young African Scholar, a platform that seeks to bring together young and energetic African leaders to equip them with the skills that they need to build up their brands, communities, and the world at large. Now, two years ago, I started a reading club out of my home to encourage the young children in my community that they don't need to fear reading, but they need to love it. Now, the success of my reading club was seen by several organizations who donated books to us, and we have also been able to donate some of these books to the Akpafu Odomi EP School in the Oti region of Ghana. As a veterinary medical student, I embarked on the Happy Animals Initiative, a social media campaign to educate pet parents and give them awareness and correct pet management practices. Using this GMB stage, I plan to use this immense platform to advocate for rabies eradication after the competition is over. You've seen me perform these past few weeks, and I've shown you my resilience, I've shown you my passion, and I've shown you my uniqueness. And I hope that tonight is enough to convince you that you are one of me. Now, thank you all so much for continuing to cheer me on during this competition. And I'd like to thank my honorable judges for awarding me two awards in one night on two different nights, an honor that hasn't been bestowed on any of the other contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to see Aiko in the finals, kindly pick up your phones and vote now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aiko. And that presentation was on why she deserves a spot in the grand finale. G-Body, what are your thoughts? You know, um, I'm a, <laughs> some guy said something here that was funny. I'm a communications coach. So I do this coming from a particular place. One of the most difficult things to do, okay, is to come back from a stutter or a stumble. Most people pause. I have watched you throughout this competition. Not only have you come back over and over and over again, but you've shown that you are a young leader. Whatever comes out of this competition, Aiko, I have said it and I'll say it over and over again. Don't let it end here. You are gold to the world. You have what it takes and congratulations ahead of time. Thank you so much, Jibodi. And if Aiko is your favorite, pick up your phones and vote for her right now. That is the surest way to secure her spot at the grand finale. Now we're moving to the Great Accra region. And Na Ahima will be telling us why she deserves a spot at the grand finale. But before that, let's take a look at her profile. Ghana Mambi, Karang Bibi, Nime, Name. Man se bi fe so loy ke na ahema ye fine age ba me min ba nye dey o manye e ngo mi na wa e ja ke nye fe ho ko nye ha mi ni e san here ye ho wa de nche e ta nye tree amling ye ho wa bofo e ata me ko ji a tree amling ko nye fe nye fa o shiki nye ha mi tonight is the final eviction i humbly ask for your maximum vote support and prayers as usual to keep me in the competition a special thank you to his royal majesty Joe Loboso adamte the first of shy traditional area honorable benjamin nikwe kote apostle constance ab Dako, reverend prince kweku jumo reverend ala ajete reverend charles of kumasi yehowa ajonye babaho thank you growing up I have always admired young, vibrant ladies on TV3 Ghana's Most Beautiful. The one who caught my eye the most was Adole. I love her uniqueness and how she effortlessly portrayed the Ghana culture. Now, she became an inspiration as I persevered my way through to become just like her or more than that. The little Na Ahima, whose family is broken and living under the care of her grandparents, struggled to have what was very basic to every child 
which is love from parents. I bet you all understand me if you are the only daughter of your family. But that did not make me stop on the way. I persevered my persevered. That did not make me. But thankfully, Thankfully, I did not lose my way because of discipline and God-fearing instilled in me. Now I ask myself, how can Timina Ahima come out of a shell and express herself to have a voice in the society? At age 22, I was so eager to experience self-growth, so I worked harder towards that. I picked up a form to audition for Ghana's Most Beautiful, but it didn't work for me. I tried again for the second time. It still did not work for me. I tried again for the third time. And guess what? It still did not work for me. I did not lose hope. I never stopped dreaming. I persevered till the end. And here I am today on TV3 Biggest and Enviable Show. Ghana's Most Beautiful. My experience in growing up has grown me to become independent to become very knowledgeable and become a problem solver. Ghana's Most Beautiful Platform has shaped me to become a great woman I am today due to the learning curves I have experienced. Do you remember Timena Ahima? No, she is more confident, eloquent. She acquired well-mannered. She is more confident, eloquent, well-cultured, and mannered and able to speak in public. Not just, um, I also acquire soft skills, which are emotional in intelligence. Nah, Hima, your time is up. And on nights like this, it's very normal for the nurse to sit in, but let me move over to Her Excellency Janet Mason and find out what she thinks of Nahima's presentation on why she deserves a spot in the grand finale. I'll start with saying, Nahima, you are beautiful. You are confident. You are a young girl with a dream. No matter how many times you fall, it is not in the falling and how many times you fall, but is in the getting up from a fall and your resilience and your confidence that you still persevere. And that for me stands out. Continue to be confident and no matter how many times you would participate. It took many great people to fall. And it's only that we know their greatness, but we don't know their stories. So you have a story. She indeed has a story. And if you want to see Nahima in the grand finale, pick up your phones. Dial the short code star 713 star 13 hash to keep her in the competition. Now we're moving to the voter region where Honam will be telling us why after 11 weeks she deserves a spot in the grand finale. But before that, a look at her profile. Hello, beautiful people of Ghana and the Volta region. This is your very own daughter, Honam. And I thank God so much for his love, for his grace, and for his mercy. For having come this far in this competition, I'm just too grateful. And thank you for always supporting me in your own little way. To Honorable James Kluchi Averji, Honorable Peter Nochukotui, Honorable Kujeto Ablakwa, Honorable Adem Agbana, to Miss Infinity of Fweni, to Mama Waname the second, and to Apostle Victor Mupachi. I'm so grateful for your love, for your votes, and for your prayers. To Tim Honam, thank you. You are just the best. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I boast of the kind of woman I have become. Look, lots of people criticized me. Family and friends neglected me, but this didn't deter me from focusing on my goals. 
growing up with my grandparents who were disciplinarians and believed in spare the rod and spoil the child. I realized that my life was revolved around everything that has to do with discipline and that sometimes tired me out. I was that girl who hide herself in the room and read newspapers and interesting novels like Things Fall Apart in the Chest of a Woman and many more. I realized that as I've grown up, I have so much love for society. I've grown as a nurse to have passion and compassion for people of sick people who come to the hospital from deprived communities and die of medical conditions that could have been prevented. My empathy fueled my passion, hence I decided to seek out for these people to provide health care to people in deprived communities. My journey on the GMB platform has been a roller coaster time. When I came here, it wasn't easy to adapt and mingle with all the other 15 ladies. I was that lady that previously wanted to make an impact in society. I looked at becoming like Michelle Obama, but this platform taught me that I need to be my own kind of woman that other people can look up to. Adjusting to the other 15 ladies I said was very difficult, but I realized that I have no option. So I learned their names, their culture, and also learned about their temperament. They affectionately call me Ehoname or Ehonami. They describe me as bold, beautiful, and intelligent. Yes, I am bold, beautiful, and intelligent. And I know and believe that I have all that it takes to wear the crown. I therefore urge you all to vote for me. And I believe that I'm more than able to be part of the final five in this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful Pageant. Akpenami, thank you. Akpenami, thank you. And that is coming from Honam. Janet, you have this very cute smile on your face. What are your thoughts on Honam's presentation? I see you. I see you for 11 weeks. I hadn't seen you. Now you've opened a window into your soul, and I see you. The second point I want to make is thank you for helping us regain our credibility. Because last week was personally a very tough one for me. Left to me alone, last week's results would have been different. But you came back and justified why you needed to be here. You've done a great job. Well done. Justify your inclusion indeed. And that is what our ladies are doing. And if Honam is your favorite and you want to see her in the grand finale, the short code is star 713, star 13, hash across all networks. Vote for her to keep her in the competition. Now we are taking you to the northern region. And Taya will be telling us why she has to be a part of the grand finale. Let's take a look at her profile. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Thanks be to the Most High God and to you all for the votes and the love. I'm so grateful to all the Gumbes in Kumasi. I am humbled. Tonight, the finalists will be selected for grand finale and I will do my possible best to get a slot into finale. But as we all know, I cannot do this alone, so I urge you all to massively vote for me so we can make it to finale, which will put me a step closer to the crown. To all executive and members of Dagbong Students Association of the University of Ghana, I am humbled and I'm so grateful. To University for Development Studies, all students of Infantiman Girls Senior High School, and of course, Al Hassan Banzaba Memorial Junior High School, I am very grateful. <laughs> Again, I'd like us all to stand as I recite our national pledge. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart. I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage won for us through the blood and toil of our fathers. And I pledge myself in all things to uphold and defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. <laughs> to continue, I'd like to say that in everywhere in our national pledge where Ghana is mentioned, 
I'd like to replace with Ghana's most beautiful. I believe that Ghana's most beautiful has become the most prestigious and enviable pageant in the whole of the country. And this is because the founders and the past queens have toiled to make this name for Ghana's most beautiful. And so I pledge my allegiance and my service to Ghana's most beautiful to uphold and defend this good name. I also believe that Ghana's most beautiful is not looking for someone who knows it all when it comes to her culture, but a young lady who understands that there are diversities in cultures, is able to incorporate it in her present living and even in the future. I believe that Ghana's most beautiful is looking for a contemporary queen. Someone who is empathetic and passionate about making a change in her community. And I have personally done this. In my region, I have educated about seven to five women and trained them in liquid soap making and other vocational skills in their villages. I promise to take up this course, the reduction of Kayayo in the country, if given this opportunity. I believe that with the home training that I have and with the training that Ghana's Most Beautiful has given me, I have become a lady of substance, a confident lady, a very passionate one who is ready to serve her country. And I will do this when given the opportunity. Ghana's Most Beautiful. I just said that I believe that I am bold enough to be Ghana's most beautiful, but I cannot do it alone, as I've always said. So kindly support me, as you've always done, so I bring the crown to Northern Region. Thank you. Thank you, Taya. Wow. Let me move over to Gibody and find out what she thinks about Taya's performance. Taya, I love the fact that you made a pledge. One of the things I've seen about you is true resilience. When you came in at the beginning, I thought, oh, she was going to do so well. But then you realized that everybody also came up just like you did. But you stayed consistent. And I can see your passion. And I can see your effort. Wow. Today, you have shown that you have become better. You said it. More confident. <clears throat> More confident. And then also putting the effort. So what I'll say to you is that no matter where this journey takes you, keep who Taya has become. Well done. Well done, Taya. And if she's your favorite and you want to keep her in the competition, dial the short code star 713 star 13 hash across all networks to keep her in the competition. Before we go on this break, let me acknowledge the presence of some dignitaries here with us in the studio. We have Chief Lepora MND Jawula of Savannah Region, former president of the Ghana Football Association. He's with us here in the studio. We also are privileged to have Dr. Abu Sakara of Savannah Region and also former presidential flag bearer of CPP and agricultural development specialist. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. And also we have Linda Dakwa Yabebi, who is the women's organizer, Equiapim North Constituency. All right, so we're taking a quick commercial break. When we come back, we get to see our final three ladies on why they should be in the grand finale. Do stay. GMB 2022, it's fireworks in here. And tonight, bold statements are being made on stage by the ladies all in a quest to make it to the grand finale of GMB 2022. Well, we've seen four already. We have uh, three more to go. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready in a quest to justify her inclusion to make it to the five final cut, Central Region's own Esirua. God has done amazing bringing me this far. As the deck has said, in Komagana Funyina and to the people of Central Region for the massive support. A salute goes to the Mayor of Cape Coast, Mr. Ennis Arthur, and all the MMDCs in the Central Region, Nana Meyabe and all the Queen Mothers, the MP for Cape Coast South and Cape Coast North, Mr. Sedo, SK Bafo, and Grace Divine Healing Ministry Youth. Nyame Papa Papa. 
There's a saying that the end always justifies the means. This Sunday, we go again, a journey to be a part of the finale. Mr. Home, a case no Myers and Papa, one called on to Abama Isegua by dialing the short code on your TV screens, Mada Humasi. Beautiful and lovely people of Ghana. Mr. Home, Major Sawanja Mahenua, permit me to share with you my journey. As an ardent viewer of Ghana's most beautiful, I always wondered what made these young ladies the most beautiful in Ghana. Well, every season I watched presented a new discovery, making it very clear that beauty is indeed intelligence. As a young journalist, I always had chills whenever I had to stand in front of the camera. This was because of an intuition that I had that I would always make a mistake during my presentation. Well, the year 2022 presented itself with an opportunity for me to justify my inclusion. Well, I am here, and some of the performances are Shada! No, Yemi, I'm here! Dumelema, Dumelera. This means good evening, ladies and gentlemen in Setswana, the official language of the people of Botswana. All of this happened on this very platform. If not for anything, I must confess that this Asidwa here is a new version of the Asidwa you saw a few weeks ago. Because I have learnt, unlearnt, and evolved into a more mature young woman. As a queen, I believe that people deserve better in life. So no other person should undermine another, irrespective of the background they are coming from. Well, I believe that my people are very supportive because of the love they've shown me during my deba. That is why I have availed myself to help the less privileged children in my society. This is an agenda that needs to be pushed with or without the crown. So a sport in the finale is very needed as a lot of lives will be changed. Ghana man, if you feel man to homofo, in penyum fuwa sembia wakade, ka asampa, nika, oyetia, ni damininti, masra hum, me hiya wana mpaibo, wana sunsum, wana do, de wana fanzimeche, wakensi imu. All I have asked you is for your prayers, your support, through money, that you will back me for this journey to be a success. One, two, about Ma Esidwa, what the short code that is star 713 star, one three hash, on all networks, or you can download the TV3 reality app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store. I would want to see myself at the finale. I hope you want to see me there too. Madame Masi. She's from the central region. And her name is Sierua, registering her inclusion to the grand finale in a few weeks. And I'll come to you, Janet, for your impressions on this very presentation by Sierua. There are two Janets here, me or <laughs> not, not, not Grace, you, Janet, the original <laughs> two, one of the original two. Sierua, I have loved your journey. And... There is one thing you said tonight that touched me emotionally, and that is the fact that you acknowledge that you're doing this not for yourself, but for your community. And that is lacking in our society. There is too much selfishness. It takes a very confident person, a very empathetic person to be selfless, and you've just demonstrated that. Kudos to you, my dear. Round of applause for Esirua. Now, also to justify her inclusion this evening, she is from the Eastern region. Her name is Amwani, and this is her statement tonight. Also, that insult is a beautiful Sunday, fellow Ghanaians, and today I justify my inclusion right here on GMB. So the Okuyapim here, or sadly, your question is for the chiefs and people of Okuyapim. Nana Ashia Boateng, Nana Yasant, or the chiefs and people of Esuboy. Gloria Charles School Limited, Pukwase. Honorable Sami Ewuku, UPSA, CAC, Team Amwini. Me damase, wamu do ne maho fama ebro ma drink ne menti asiso. Nanso me kuswa asire muse, mu famu fona, mu vote na mu vote na mu vote. Si se akaka krebi na ye duba sha asiso. Ne mu mimpesi wobe jamu wa kwenye tini. Inti mu kuswa na mu mbwa mitesa diada mo yano me dasse. 
As a child, I read the fairy tale of Cinderella and what a beautiful princess she became. I knew one thing. I wanted Cinderella's gown and her glass shoes in which I would dance with my Prince Charming. I was so focused on the happy ever after of Cinderella that I lost sight of the many things we had in common. Just like Cinderella, I was the girl everyone loved, but I had one problem. I could not speak out, no matter my level of confidence. I was the girl whose teachers reported to her mother that if she did not project, she would be excluded from the many things she wanted to do. I was that girl. Sometime in 2010, I sat to watch Ghana's Most Beautiful with my mother. Queen Amma from the Eastern region caught my attention with her beautiful dark skin, intellect, and the confidence she exuded in her delivery. That was the magic I had been waiting for because I found the perfect role model to emulate. I found my voice, and when I did, there was no turning back. Today, I stand on the same stage I drew inspiration from many years ago to show the world that in the chest of a woman, in Amweni's chest, lies not just the extension of the breast and a feeble heart, but a burning desire to give hope to the young girl to believe in the possibility of her dreams. With four awards out of 12 nominations, the highest of the season, my heart melts when Auntie Janet calls me Miss Eloquence because I moved from the girl who had no voice to a many of GMB who is championing the STEM agenda. I want to use this platform to equip students with STEM skills to prepare them for the future because the future is science. My personality reflects in my demeanor, poise and confidence. No, I am not Einstein, but I have intelligence and I am abreast with current issues of the world. I describe myself as a powerful woman with a heat-resistant and stomach-bracing caliber. There is nothing I cannot handle because I have soft skills. I am emotionally intelligent. The only principle that defeats Newton's third law of motion, that action and reaction are equal but opposite. This is why the other ladies refer to me as the peacemaker, the lawyer of the house. I have empathy. By exposure, I learned through curiosity. They say that curiosity killed the cat, but I say satisfaction brought it back. Lastly, through my expertise, I am able to communicate my STEM ideas. A vote for Amweni is a vote for the young girl to believe in the validity of her dreams, for a student to acquire STEM skills to prepare him for the future. Maybe in the end, I will get the crown and wear the glass shoes, and we will all live happily ever after. My name is Amweni, representing the Eastern region. Thank you. And that was a very bold statement, if you ask me. But I am not a judge, so I'll move to the judges and I'll go straight to Her Excellency on your impressions about this presentation by Amweni. Amweni, you definitely have a dream. Cinderella, your eloquence, your confidence, um, as you have rightfully said it, your poise, panache, but what stands out for me is empathy, Thank you. compassion, purpose, that you're not just doing this, but that you want to be of service and the upliftment of other young girls. Thank you. So this is a purpose for me. Well done. Well done, I'm ready from the Eastern region. And to wrap it all up for us tonight, she is from the Savannah region and her name is Haria. Alhamdulillah to Almighty Allah for how far he has brought you and I. I am so grateful. Tonight is about justify your inclusion and I, Haria, is going to prove to you why I need to be part of the finale. I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to the CEO of National Ambulance Service, Professor Nuhu Zakaria, to the Managing Director of Wupe and Sons Royal Lodge, to Team Haria, to all my uncles and family members from other regions supporting me. God richly bless you. I know you don't want me to go, neither do I want to go home. So keep voting for Haria, H-A-R-I-Y-A to the short code on your screen. Thank you, Asan Kushun. This was a young lady who wanted to partake in Ghana's Most Beautiful. But her dad was so much against it that he had his own misperception about beauty pageants being for Slay Queen. 
It wasn't easy because he couldn't watch her daughter end up becoming a slave queen. No. So later on, he found out that his daughter's pictures, in fact, distant pictures, were all over social media partaking in Ghana's most beautiful audition. Then he became angry. And she, he said to her daughter, Kai City, Manshulukumo, you better go and delete those pictures and change your mind because I'm not going to support you. But her daughter, knowing what she wanted, she confined in her mom. And her mom gave her that blessing and support. Then she said to herself, Sweetie, do not relent. There is still hope. She went ahead to write her dad an emotional letter. This letter really got to her dad. She had goosebumps all over her body after reading her dad's reply. The letter said, My dear, I have gone to research about Ghana's most beautiful, and I have realized it is not what I thought it was, but rather promoting culture, decency, and originality. He said, My daughter, go. Go and make me proud and the whole of your region proud. I am fully in support. TV3 has convinced me. This is me, and that was my story. So far in the competition and on this very stage, I have learned and unlearned. I have sung the good. I have projected my people's culture to my very best ability. So don't be surprised when you see me today standing here with so much confidence to project my people's culture. All thanks to TV3. Thank you, our noble judges, for not saying, Kai Haria and Iman I am grateful. I am the third child of 10 children, and I have learned how to coexist with people peacefully and take responsibilities. So I got to realize that most women and girl child do not acquire quality education. So I thought of it. Haria, what can you do to help these people? That is why I thought of this GMB empowering platform to come and be empowered so I'll be able to go back to empower these people. Being the first representative to represent my people so far in Ghana's most beautiful semi finals, I have achieved a lot, but that is not all. I want you all to support me so that I'll be the first person to win the crown. I have promised my people I can't just leave. What am I going to show them? I want to prove the whole world that I can do better. Please support me. Help me. Vote for Haria. Minchande. Minchimuto. Minpimakashi. Enyin miyafula lalue. I am not ending this. I want you all to support me and lead me to the finale. Thank you, Asano Kushin. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So she got most of us emotional. I will go to Jigwadi <laughs> for your final comments on this one. Haria. The first thing I would like to say is, if I was standing next to you, I'll give you a hug. You know, I'm the hugging, the hugging person. But what I want to say is, I just want to say something. I just want to say thank you for listening to us in the first half and coming back stronger. I give you A for effort because you could have chosen to give, it, give up after that, but you didn't. And that resilience is something that you should hold very dear. You are a young person with great dreams. I have watched you through this competition and I have seen your, I have fought you about your inconsistencies, but I realize you are a great learner. So well done, I want to say thank you. And I say this to you from the bottom of my heart, Haria. No matter what has happened tonight, you have made your region your family, your university, and you have made us proud. Don't give up. Don't give up. And you have shown that tonight. Keep your head up. Keep going. You have done your very best. Know that. And I would quote Janet here always, you are enough. All seven of them, please give it up for them. All seven who have made it thus far.
We're taking a break when we come back. Unfortunately, the final eviction will take place. Please make sure it is not your preferred contestant. Yes, we'll get to the Twitter comments, but right after this break. Most eloquent for the night. And this one is sponsored by Airtel Tugumisa Reloaded, Geisha Black Soap, Pepsodent, and Rexina. Congratulations, Amwini. Wow. And she gets a package as well. That's a hamper from Geisha Black Soap, Pepsodent, and Rexina. Congratulations once again, darling. Cookie. Are we ready for star performer? Yeah, yeah. Who is your star performer? Yeah, yeah. All right. And that one is sponsored by Kamel now from Kerex, Techno Come On 19, and GTP at Depa Dumas. And Her Excellency would also do that presentation for us. Judges, Gigi, should I come to you for star performer? Okay. So for our star performer tonight, as you can tell, we had some great performances. So I'll just go straight to it. And I'll start with Amweni. The next star performer is Asiedua. And the next star performer is Aiko. Oh my God, uh, Cookie and Anita. Yep. All right, settle down, settle down. Thank you very much. Once again, tough choice. Mm. If you look at it, very few points. Amongst them, some 10 points across all three. 10, 15 points. But there was one that stood out completely. Or let me call it outstanding. She's won it over and over again, and tonight she takes it again. Aiko. Aiko! Star performer! Aiko for star performer! And that piece of cloth is from GTP at the Padumas. GTP at the Padumas for her first prize. Of course, Kamel now from Carex with that hamper. Kamel now from Carex, and then Orequa Enchi, Orequa Enchi from Techno is handing her her new phone from Techno. Congratulations to you, Aiko Star Performer. Her Excellency, thank you very much. Erequa, thank you so much. Wow. All right, all right. Settle down, settle down. Final moments for the night. Final moments, final moments, settle down. Anita, I think we have one assignment before we hand over exactly. to the judges. We need to save one person so the six can come up front and the judges can do what they have to do tonight. So out of the seven tonight, Cookie, Aiko, go backstage. Please come forward, ladies. Okay, Cookie, hold on, hold on, hold All on. All right. One more person has to go back. Okay. And that person is Taya. Ooh, what a night. One more person has to go. And that person is going backstage. And that person has made it to the grand finale. Amwani! Congratulations, Amwani! Congratulations, Amwani. So that leaves four. Honam Haria, Nahima, and Asiedua. Who are we saving tonight? Who are we saving? Judges. Okay. Oh. <laughs> settle down. Settle down. Settle calm down. down, guys. Settle down. Settle calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Settle down. So, Cookie. Yep. Huh. One more to go to the back. Yeah, yeah. 
One more. Yep. Who is that going to be? Three, two, Three, one. one. Hana! Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Thank you. Jibadi. At this point, we would have to evict. So tonight, thank you for settling down. Settle down. These are the final moments. Please settle down. Gigi. So girls. All right. So ladies, I want to make this short and sweet. All of you have done a great job. But tonight, two of you have to leave us. One person is the one we have to save. And this is one of the most difficult times for us as judges. But also, we have to remember why we are here. So, making the decision to save A lot of effort was put in. A lot of effort. A lot of votes. Gigi, hold on, Gigi, hold on. Please hold on. Please hold on. Please, those of you to my left, yeah, Pamucho, settle down. Aiko is already backstage, so please, settle down. <laughs> settle down, settle down. Thank you very much. And okay, to the no, rest of no, the no, no, hold on. Gigi, hold on, hold, hold on. on for us. Hold, hold on. on for us. These Hold moments on. are very important to us. The cameras are picking your reaction, so please make sure you are well behaved tonight. Thank you very much, please. Yada Mwase. Okay, director. Okay. Gigi. Okay. So, Jibadi, director says, yes. evict the first person yeah. going home. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Evict, yes. yes. Wow. First person going home tonight. Is Na Ahima. Na Ahima. For Na Ahima. A round of applause well for Na Ahima. Thank you for your journey. A fight. And thank you for all the efforts you have put in. Congratulations for making it this far. Okay, Her Excellency is coming back to do that presentation. And I see products from Vita Milk and Eclair Lotion going out to Na Ahima. It's the end of the road. For her GMB 2022. All right. And this one also, Her Excellency from Claire Lotion. Thank you so much. All right. A round of applause for Nahima as she goes backstage. Now, nah, thank you so much for a good fight you put up here. GMB 2022. Gigi. We have permission that you save one person. Who's that gonna be? Okay. It's time to say goodbye. Okay, so well done, girls, and we are going to save tonight a Siedua. The Siedua are going to the grand finale. Haria. Congratulations, a Siedua. Haria, thank you. Thank you for your journey. Thank you for all the work you put in. And thank you for your efforts. We are Excellency. proud of you. Her so, Excellency. Sorry, sorry, Gigi. No, I just wanted to say to Haria uh, again, Thank you for the journey. Thank you for the effort. And thank you for the work you put in. Go back and make your region proud. We are all proud of you. Congratulations for making it this far. She's getting a package from Vita Milk. 
and Her Excellency will do that presentation for all of us. And also from Claire Lotion going out to Haria to say goodbye. On your screen, we've projected the charts, the voting charts for tonight. With judges' course as well, so you see how everything went down. And so, Cookie, wow, what a night. In two weeks, <sighs> it's the grand finale of GMB 2022. And these are your five finalists. Give it up for them one more time. Thank you for voting. Thank you so much for voting. We'll communicate the venue, the date and time. But if you're an ardent supporter of Ghana's Most Beautiful, then you have an idea. Well, it's, it's at the National, National Theater. Theater. Yes. On the 9th of October, 2022, who is taking the car home? Who's taking the car home? Who's going to Dubai? <laughs> it looks like I'm taking the car home. I know, right? <laughs> So on the so, 9th of October, yes, National uh, yeah. Theatre, 8 p.m. prompt, we will be airborne. Make sure you come early, set yourselves comfortably so we can crown our ultimate queen. And they have to watch out for the prizes of the tickets yes, as well. Please. It will be selling, yep. so you grab yourself a ticket and come to the National Theatre. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a beautiful night. See you on the 9th of October at the National Theatre. Have a good night. Myself and Cookie. Cookie. Cookie.